Man, I love this palace. I love everything about this palace. The the entire art style, the aesthetic, the music that plays here, Price, if you want to look it up, uh, just Price Persona 5 on YouTube, you'll be able to find it instantly. It is just great. It's too bad it's still Persona 5. <laughs> I mean, I could just imagine how how much I would like this game if the writing was even somewhat better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's, it's, it's just too bad. But, um, yeah, uh, so we're just going to go through the front entrance. Don't you remember back in Kamoshida's Palace where Morgana explicitly, explicitly said that Phantom Thieves or Thieves in general would never just go through the front entrance of an area? <laughs> eh, well, whatever. <laughs> that was, they probably wrote that like a year before they said that, though. It was probably a really long time. It's probably a year ago in our series, to be honest. Well, I mean, it's definitely more than a year ago in the series, oh. but it's like, I... I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things. Where, yet another one of those things we're just going to have to let fly. Mm -hmm. And also the security guards here got these, like, segmented bug eyes on their masks. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same sort of like a security, whether it's, you know, museum security or, like, actual full plate armor guards that we saw back in Kamoshida. But why the bug eyes? That one I don't get. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of like a they live kind of thing. You know, they're just, they're, they're protecting, or, you know, it's kind of a classic horror thing. I don't know. I think it's one of those things. These are the bugs protecting the money in the palace. I don't know. I, I, yeah, just, it, there's not really, it's a ghost. <laughs> like, yeah, I tried to, I tried to get a little bit better look at one of the ATM guys, but, mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 no, I mean, yeah, I know they do that for every single one of the NPCs whenever you get kind of close to them, but there's like actual detail on those guys. I would like to have seen it a little bit better. Well, but and for some reason, the the bank tellers here are uh, like suited up dudes. That's not really the sort of crew that Kaneshiro hangs out with. But whatever, it, it, fine, I'll let that I, fly. Honestly, I like this effect of just like you know some. People are just ATMs, and some people are just enforcers. And then there's this one guy standing atop society. I mean, I don't know if they were going for this as like you know some sort of like great social satire, but I'm I'm digging it as just like a an image. It is pretty cool. Even using like little laptops connected to kind of a uh, low low rent printer. Mm -hmm. Although ignore the fact that you could clearly see the shadow underneath that. Mm -hmm. print but not the shadow of anything else. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm just going to let that one fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the little oh, statues. The things you... all, all, all the little details here just really add up to something. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can even see, like, uh, coming into the reception room, for example, if you look on the ground, it's a bunch of uh, various uh, symbols for money on there, yeah, too. Yeah, and I was noticing... It's a lot of good stuff. Of course. I, I wanted to really get a good look at... Uh, because, of course, um, you can't go more than five seconds without a cutscene. So if I just walked over here, you wouldn't really, really been able to to see the money trees, uh, the, the like, um, little details that they put into everything around here. Although I couldn't really look at each one of the NPCs, of course. I mean, it's all just money, but, you know. Yeah. It's kind of Shiro. I love it. I love this design. This design is great. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he uh, took a trip to the Wonka factory before this, though. Like, Madarame and Kamoshida didn't have, uh, didn't look like monster men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this I, I love this. Just like that, like those retro speakers. This looks like a conference room from the 80s or something. I really like oh, this. Oh, he looks design. super. This looks super like a conference room you'd see even in more modern banks right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's got, like, the mustache. He's got, like, the slicked back, uh, long, long hair and everything. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, like, a uh, Tom Wolf suit. Mm -hmm. Come on. And look at that. Yeah, he, just, uh, he looks like the devil of avarice. And he, he, like he, he, well, he, he looks like a, a, a businessman from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's even still got the, uh, the earrings, though. <laughs> yeah. Just like... But yeah, of course, it's like, um, you know. He looks like a baron <laughs> Still persona of mammon. <laughs> yep. My uh, wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. I still I still wonder, it's just like, wh wh why are the fan of Thieves doing this? <laughs> this just feels like, why are we going along with this? Like, this is not how we did the previous... We didn't even see what Shadow Madarame looked like for a while. <laughs> but here... 
It's like we're actually gonna play along with the whole thing with with Makoto being being uh, Kanashiro's, you know, whole um, a customer and everything like that. Yeah. By the way, and you can see, by the way, next to him are the uh, are the goons that he had uh, sitting at him at a, sitting with him at the club too. Mm -hmm. So hey, that's nice at least. There's some consistency. By the way, uh, you know, that's just like I, just a, a rule of thumb with the persona writing. What they do is they just take something you know really good, like a really good reference. Like this guy is basically just alluding to kind of a speech from Jensen. Maybe it's been this way since cool, the dawn cool, cool. of history, and just fucking it up by making him totally irredeemable and uninteresting. <laughs> like, <laughs> at least it kind of makes sense for this guy. I mean, he is supposed to be a courier. <laughs> Uh, it's it's like it, at least this time he is sup from the very beginning there was never any doubt that he was just a total complete dirtbag but uh -huh. eh. well, well I just, i'm just saying like pro tip to the writers uh you know if, if any of them are still watching on part 47 of this series where we're constantly trashing them <laughs> you know <laughs> but it's like you know that, that was, that was actually something that I was going to be, um, that I was going to do for this episode, but never did it, was come up with a prediction list for us for, for the rest of the series. <laughs> the old bingo list of being, like, uh, some some sort of reference to, to like, uh, oh, Mr. Show, us just completely and utterly trashing the writer, uh, disparaging remarks about how pe many people actually watch this series. <laughs> I can't believe this is still going on. Yeah, like, well, it's kind of that Annie Hall <laughs> joke, like, where we're disparaging the viewers, but we're also disparaging how, how few there are. <laughs> like, in such small yeah. portions. Well, they'll never know. Oh, Annie Hall references. We can make fun of them as much as, I, as much as we want. Annie Hall references are on the list. Oh, Annie Hall references are definitely on the list. Oh. I'm, I'm ready to do the lobsters for dinner thing. Unfavorable comparisons of Persona 5's writing to great works of literature. <laughs> Uh, Doc Firebird tries to compare the morality in the series to Christianity for some reason. <laughs> Why has he done that so much? <laughs> Doc Firebird just completely loses his mind and goes on a nonsensical rant for, for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of nod along while you do that. And Big as if sarcasm. I, as if I in all quotes. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, we just go on about food while ignoring what's happening in the background. <laughs> Our own tiny world. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this counts as a Mr. Show reference, but we have this meta conversation um, that also references things that we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, callbacks. Callbacks, callbacks, callbacks. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Nope. Doc Fireberg tries to lazily come up with some crappy uh, uh, bit in the middle of the episode that doesn't really go anywhere. Yeah. Um, just failed bit entirely. And the viewers put that alongside. Um, yeah, just put like failed bit alongside just like self deprecation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We're basically more self. Uh, we've got more fucking self reference than, than, a, than an XKCD comic. Oh, harsh. There's the uh, nonsensical reference to... I, that, that doesn't even really work. There, a lot of those aren't even meta. That doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I don't know if you noticed. I got hit, like, once in that entire fight, and we're like, ah, we gotta run. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the tessellation. Oh, yeah, by the way. Also did want to look around. I don't care. Melty by the way, are these people also ATMs? No, these are just like, like I said, these are just like dudes in suits. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're supposed to be representing. I mean, they're, they're certainly not. You you would think that it would be like the goons that Kaneshiro has under, you know, like the main goons that aren't aren't shadows. Mm -hmm. But he has those guys literally standing right next to him on that he's that he saw on the television. Yeah, yeah. And just like people who aren't. <laughs> God, that is such a like. <laughs> I love this like villain, just how over the top he is. He's just I great. love him. He's he's pretty great. <laughs> it it's still just kind of a everything. Uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like if everything else in the game wasn't so uh, hackneyed, then I I I I. It's like it feels more like this is supposed to be hackneyed on purpose because he's such a big dumb. 
evil villain, but it's like everybody's a big dumb evil villain. So what does that mean? He, he kind of, he almost kind of like that that white suit makes him kind of seem like like a Louisiana governor or something. You know, like it's oh yeah yeah the the suit, the hair, and the mustache, very Louisiana governor. He's just sweating through his disgusting suit. Yeah, very um like I'm th what is uh. I'm thinking of like the the, the, the classic foghorn leghorn style like a lawyer type of character that you'll see. Oh yeah, and you may not know this, but uh, you may, you may actually know this actually because it's you. You may know that foghorn leghorn was actually uh, stolen from a Fred Allen bit uh, called Senator Cleghorn. You know, like back in the radio days. I do I do know second Senator Cleghorn, but I thought that was based off of a real person. I didn't realize that was a that was, uh, a, that was like a, bit. a composite character. So we're we're back to. We're back to where Cactus we were. Cactus Jack style. It, it all comes back. This is somebody who's simultaneously like a 1980s. Well, it's Persona 5, isn't it? You know, Gordon Gecko <laughs> character and like just a magnate in the American South. I mean, there's something to be said about like a criminal in the other world being represented as a Gordon Gecko type of character. Mm -hmm. I can easily see, I mean, he does call his, his organization the Mafia, and we made all those Scarface references. Mm -hmm. I still think that that would have been a more interesting direction to be taking this. Yeah, yeah. Infiltrating the old Scarface type mansion. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you know, it's, it's nice what it is. Um, one thing I can make, I think this is a critique of the design that's not really, you know, it's not a terrible thing or anything, but it is kind of, all, all the buildings start to feel like, it was clearly all made in the same engine, if you know what I mean, in a way that doesn't feel intentional. Like, all of these buildings are kind of, they're square, right angles and stuff. I don't think that's an intentional statement. I think that was, like, a limitation of their uh, graphics, or, you know, their engine. Uh, I do think that if you were looking at, like, the Kamoshita Palace and, like, uh, the, the amount of areas that you saw in that place compared to, like, some of the later ones, that there was the old-fashioned, like, well, they kind of, you know, let up over time. You know, start with a strong first foot and then... Uh, but even then, I think it is also just, you know, day it's the style. To be honest, it was way worse back in Persona 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. Like, the dungeons here are a thousand times better. Well, what was the original Persona game like, you know, like a really simple engine or something? Well, the original Persona game was on the uh, PlayStation, oh. <laughs> but uh, it was PlayStation 2, and they did this, like, kind of semi-procedurally generated dungeon, and it wasn't very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was all, it was very, very samey, just over and over and over. Also, oh, God, Makoto, that is just the dumbest Persona. Everybody here is swooning all over how cool her motorcycle is. I'm just like, this is stupid. <laughs> this is very stupid. Also, can you kind of like turn down the uh, the transparency a little bit? It's kind of hard to even look at. <laughs> I'll say, wait a second. I just noticed in the background, um, the Yen statues are like spinning around. How come they don't do that in the game? <laughs> What's up with that? They could have easily made that happen. It's a palace after all. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, these guys are still pretty much jabronis, so they go down nigh on instantly. Did I lose you? <laughs> oh, well, I lost the second guy, so I guess we're going to be uh, flying this one solo. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of, I guess, good stuff out of the technicals at this point in time. It's been actually a pretty fun part of the engine to really try and get to, you know, either freezing or electricity on dudes so that I can uh, nail them with criticals in that way. Because it used to just be, hey, you want to test for, for, um... You want to test for weaknesses over and over, and if you can't do that, then uh, the old attack, heal, buff, maybe Trinity that you get in previous games. It's it's definitely a very interesting new dynamic that has been introduced in Persona 5 that I appreciate a lot. Especially now that uh, not every single enemy has a weakness to be exploiting every single time. All right, and despite taking those guys out, absolutely no problem. We run, run away again because hey, you can only do so much in in one day. I even said that last time when it came to what? Wait, what is Kakum? Kakum, which is apparently the brand of vest that the shadows are wearing. But yeah, I said that last time. There's gonna be like some sort of 
some sort of event that happens um, previously to to uh, being able to dis uh, explore the dungeon proper or in the middle like we had with Yusuke, and that just didn't really didn't really do too much of anything. And now I am, of course, right now, sending a message that is uh, to the guy because I cannot hear him at all. I'm, I, and I hope he gets back here. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the, stre the stream isn't going. Yes, I know. I ended the call because you weren't here. That's fair. <laughs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter what you do. You, you're going to kiss your bright futures goodbye. And then there's the thumbnail for the episode. Oh. Because I love the look of Kaneshiro here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's pretty great. But yeah, it's like, well, what does it matter for the main character? His bright future's already gone. <laughs> We're not... It's not like he's going to... Oh, come on. This just feels a little bit disingenuous when you're praising her this hard. Mm -hmm. Then again, I suppose... Uh, in reality, it's like we should really be chewing Makoto a lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, ah, so quick to forgive, unless it's the villains. Oh yeah, well the villains, those guys are assholes. They have they're indefensible. Uh, but I mean indefensible. Yeah. Unlike Makoto, who is absolutely defensible. Well, what what about that um that detective character? Are we gonna make him out to be like this horrible villain? You know, like the boy detective. Ah, uh, Goro, Akechi, I. I He's he hasn't really done anything terrible yet, unlike uh, unlike uh, Makoto's sister mother, who has just been awful as of just now. I mean, at first you thought it's like, well, you know, she's she's like I said, terse, curt, mm -hmm. but seemingly trying to do the right thing. It's like now she's just fucking terrible. Yeah, it's weird because you'd think you'd want to make her like a complex character, given that the outside world. I guess that is a complex characteristic. <laughs> Where it's just like she is, uh, she is um, very beholden to trying to make sure that Makoto has a bright future and, you know, to hold uphold her duties as a detective, but she's also horribly emotionally abusive to her. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a real dynamic. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's just it came out of nowhere was the big criticism that uh, I had about Yeah, that. no, that's true. Yeah, okay. It just kind of, I, but, you know, I guess at the same time, it's like... It, well, that's not entirely unrealistic either. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it, it seems like what you'd want to do is make it more like subtle. Like, okay, she's saying these things. Like, well, well, this is wait, 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 wait. We are talking about Persona 5. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is true. Traff. So it's like, I, you know what? We got to, th th this is like, you know, seeing a five-year-old's um, finger painting. And it's like, well, you know, maybe it's not great. But hey, these, there are some complex themes and some good usage of color going on here. <laughs> well, I, I, that, that should be another one in our list. Like, Backhanded compliment. Throw that on the yeah, bingo exactly. board. <laughs> Backhanded compliment, but also like. Giving them completely arbitrary reasons to let them off the hook. Like, I've been playing, um, you know, again, comparing it to similar games. Um, I've been playing Ace Attorney, like the, the full trilogy. Yeah, stuff. yeah, you talked about that last time, too. And it's just like, they, they go through an entire story in, like, six hours. You know, they, they tell a really complex story in, like, two hours for a case. You know, and you feel like... Oh, or even, you know, when I was first bringing you on this, you were like, well, how many planets did they visit in 90 minutes in Star Wars? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And it's like, I think that's still a great comparison. <laughs> It's like it, it just ah ah you just you gotta give him props where he can though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely throw back and a compliment on the uh, on the on the bingo board though. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, everything I said about Kaneshiro's pals and his design and everything, I definitely still do mean. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one is not backhanded. Oh yeah. I, I, I actually was like legitimately listening to to the the palace theme while making this episode because it's great. Mm. I'll have to go it's back. It's got that kind of like reedy, um, the Ghostbusters theme uh, whistle in the background and sort of like a, 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 a lowrider groove. You know, the dot, 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 dot
Yeah. I, it's like, that's great. I, that's great. I love that. I will imagine that because I, as you may know at home. I sent it to you. I can see the big thumbnail for that song happening right there. And I know that you're, it's not like you're listening to the sound from the, from the video. Cause that's not how we, we record. I, 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 you could just throw that on right now. No problem at all. I will often like go back and listen to it. Uh, just the, watch these just so I can hear the music and stuff. The music is really high quality too. That's another particular strength ah, of the game. There's a, there's a lot of stuff where it's just like, eh, you know, the, the like, uh, uh, tense danger music I get kind of sick of. <laughs> but, you know, hey, Beneath the Mask is still a great track, regardless of how many, 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 many hours I've heard it. Yeah. Life Will Change, very fantastic. You sparingly enough to uh, really make a good impact when you're uh, doing the, the final palace infiltration, fighting the boss and everything. <laughs> I do think the, maybe the boss name could be a little bit better. Uh, still, it's like, you know, um, last surprise. Great. Gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. But we've we've gone over this so much where it's just like, man, it's really just the writing. It's really oh, just the yeah, writing. It's say, really, like, really just the writing. Yeah, and I was gonna say like one of these things that uh, like a lot of the problems with the rest of the game, to the extent that there even are problems with the rest. It's of the not game, even everything about the writing. Like like we're talking about like the soundtrack. Oh, it's kind of repetitive. That wouldn't be a problem if you got the plot over with in half the time. Like that, that that's half the time you need to dwell on whether the music is perfect or just like an eight out of 10, you know, <laughs> like you could get away with like not being perfect yeah. if you've got less sure. repetition that's enforced. So do we you. just have like copies of each one of the bingo squares for our card? It's going to be like one of those like, or do we have to like make it the, um, the happens multiple times? Thing? I mean, it's going to be like a bingo square, but every bingo square is going to be its own individual bingo board. Like it just, Yep. We're going to have 620 It's times. like, how many of the bingos are you going to get? <laughs> you got to get a multi-bingo to win. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I didn't like about uh, The Witness, uh, is that it didn't have multi-bingo multi as one of the puzzles. Yeah. Uh, how would you make a puzzle out of... No, well, he's, no. The, the supposed genius. Of hey, puzzles. hey! I saw that. I saw that. That rolled over to ten percent before going back up to twenty percent. You didn't fool me, game. <laughs> well, anyway, they, they have to make it. Uh, I don't. I don't know why they programmed it like that. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hey, we get a scene without the main character, mm -hmm. and it's actually not terrible. I mean. And, and here's the thing, going back to the whole Kamashita saga, it was not Makoto's responsibility to take care of that, but also at the same time, it's not like... Anne was actually in a worse position than anybody else because, uh, you know, the thing is, Kamashita's... If, if, if she did anything, like, even somewhat disagreeable to Kamashita, uh, he had... Um, Shiho there to take it out on, and it was in a worse way than anybody could have possibly imagined, even myself, given the, the tone of the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, I guess I can understand her guilt, but at the same time, it's like, uh, it's, she, she really should not be blaming herself for that. It really feels like an excuse to um, avoid, like, blaming um, Makoto for that whole thing with... <laughs> no. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, we are talking about anime, but she's just the student council president. Mm -hmm. like, we need to have a <laughs> well, I, scene where someone apologizes like after all of that, but it really can't be this new party member. Otherwise, she's starting on a lower foot. And it's, it's something that's really ridiculous where it's like they have to basically pretend that every single one of the members of the volleyball team weren't in casts and big bandages like over their heads at all points in time. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, but also, do you really think that Makoto would be the one to do something about that? Mm -hmm. It's like any, anybody else. That, ah. But, you know, that's one of those things like don't think about it too hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I think it's even not a, not even all that unreasonable of a thing, considering it's just like there are many examples in the real world of how, of how like you know it just kind of becomes a daily part of your life when horrible horrible things happen. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. Like you have like. But the thing is, they try to put it here as it's just like, you know, it's not just. Uh, that that sort of like oppressive nature, but it's like it's it's like they literally didn't know. <laughs> yeah. 
So, I don't know. Of course, that's also, like, weirdly heavier than what I think that Persona 5 would no normally go for theming-wise. But they have no problem bringing up that sort of subject. Mm -hmm. So... What are you going to say? I'm going to be honest, I, I was not here for the uh, the Kamashita Saga, so I'm a little bit less versed on these events, and I'm trying to, like, just pass it off as just, like, nodding along. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, you weren't there for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That was maybe the most upset of the, uh, that I've been on at the series, just period. So... <laughs> Uh, so actually, this is, terrible. this is our this is our happy mood. Like we're we're really optimistic about where the series is going. Yes. <laughs> like my I mean, I guess optimistic in the sense that it's like these have been more fun episodes to record. <laughs> I don't know about ah. Oh, calculator. I thought you were doing something <laughs> like that. Some bit about. No, there's just a but. Okay, so the topmost right, the top rightmost button on my keyboard brings up the calculator. So I press that a That's lot. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not. Oh. I don't need that at all for <laughs> any reason. But uh, yeah, hey, we got like um, you know, Japanese honorific type of stuff, <laughs> which I, 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 I guess. I guess that's one of those things that you got to deal with when it comes to um, when it comes to a game like this one, where they are very, very, where they, where they do not hesitate at all about throwing those into the normal dialogue. Yeah, it's weird. It's just weird in like the English version. It's like, huh? <laughs> you know, should I call you uh, Najima-san or Najima-san? And it's like, well, that's it's one of the big things with the series is that they have a very, very very accurate translation, so still not able to miss that. It, it missed it in the Japanese I, version, did not miss it in the By the way, I love it when um, my teacher throws chalk at me, and then my cat, who talks, tells me, oh, well, you just need to, like, get better at dodging. Yes, obviously. Uh, anyway, um, so I, I, I do want to bring up for uh, this part, specifically, they reuse that. Come on, that was the one they used for Kamashita. You get a new mission start for for each one of the characters, mm -hmm. and a new one for for Madarame. Come on. By the way, who is the character on the blackboard there? That's Goro. Okay. He's he's still for some reason the top talk of the town, despite the fact that it should be something about like mafia or whatever. Well, now. I we can't we can't hold them to their terrible standards. If they deviate from that, we should be encouraging that. Oh, they can actually <laughs> talk about two characters at the same time. Oh, Multi-bingo, right? <laughs> Don't encourage them. I know it's already been made. It's like like five years old at this point. Yeah, it is uh, four years old, 2006. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, this one came out. They Hey, they could have changed up the royal more. That's true. I was actually... I mean, I know that it was obviously like way too much to hope that they could have changed it up a little bit, but they definitely did not. Well, you know, well that's that's the problem with making it a game too big is you can't go back and like say, well, oh, we're gonna get rid of 50 hours of content that was you know bullshit and unnecessary. Because like, oh no, well that 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 means it's worth half as much. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they gotta pad that out with extra exposition after mm -hmm. all. <laughs> it's like. Just ignore the fact the game is 50% packing peanuts. 50% is 90% packing peanuts. Well, you know, you try to take away... It's like taking away packing peanuts, like a box full of packing peanuts away from a child. They're like, no, that's that's what I'm here for. That's the only reason I care about this. I don't care what was in the box. They're those ones that are made of, like, rice that you can eat. Mm -hmm. I love that. I don't know, man. Is anything impossible in the metaverse? Wait, main character, have you really just been carrying that around this entire time? Wait, is that... When you have your hands in your pockets, are you just gripping that star that you were given <laughs> all the time? What? What is that? That was that star that J Jose gave us back in Mementos like 20 episodes ago. <laughs> and main character apparently just carries that around with him everywhere he goes. It's probably the reason he's got such a magnetic personality. Everyone's just like... But it was introduced in the Royal. Oh. <laughs> That's a weird... That would be a weird quick character twist. Uh, the the idea that it's just like, you know, hey, 
Uh, main character is really big believer in like the the the. the nope. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck everything! <laughs> We're changing to English. Wait, <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I said in the last episode. I said. I said in the last episode that they're gonna try to fool you into thinking that they're not gonna do a whole bunch of exposition. It's a smartphone. It's like, oh no! Oh no! They're gonna do. Oh no! Here it comes. <laughs> New character. Well, this is just another excuse to explain everything about the metaverse again. By the way, uh, I just want to point out, like, I. <laughs> this is just gonna get really. This this hallway that they're sitting in is just gonna look really really crowded when we start adding more party members. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, we got like three more people. <laughs> three or four. Like they're 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 standing like this. You know, this kind of Ocean's Eleven at the end in front of the fountain because you can't fucking just have them in a pentagon. You know what I mean? Like they well, that would be great if they decide to go like full on super villain. Also, I just want to say one more time. Oh, fuck this. I can't believe they're doing it again. Like a regular polygon with each party member at the, at the vertices. Why not? Why can't we explain that Igor has been sending the app? That would probably explain a lot of stuff to like the. Also, you know, I was speculating on this earlier that it's like, hey, maybe main character just doesn't remember everything with Igor. Oh no, he does. Oh, so <laughs> and he just will not tell anybody about it. He's not telling the party members about that. He will not tell the party members about the Igor thing. I tried to force him to there because we finally had a dialogue option about it, and they're just like, ah, nah. <laughs> We're still learning things ourselves. That would be that would be the most important information, like regarding the whole origin and why you guys are fan of thieves in the first place. But uh, you know, it's like that would be something where it's like, oh well, you're gonna be doing this. We're, we're in this for the long haul. Like, they don't know how long they're going to be doing this, right? Like, they don't know, oh, this is time limited. It is, they are also, like, risking their lives and everything, and they just assume that this is some sort of auspicious gift that was given to them from some sort of mysterious outside force when it's like main character actually knows exactly where it's coming from and could do stuff like go and ask specific questions. Although, you know, as Igor has said, I'm not trying to hide anything from you as he hides everything from you. <laughs> But it's like at least they could try. I mean, they could ask, and then they could, like maybe solicit some feedback. Here's what's happening to me. Here's a problem I'm going through. You know, we're all risking well, our lives. But so. you all were using we have also established that it's just like, boy, do, do the main characters not actually care at all about like figuring out anything about the world, except when they do. But well, usually they don't. Which, to be fair, is realistic. Like you know, when humans didn't discover the number zero until like you know, 30 years ago. Sounds too much like a smuggler. Yeah, yeah, they just assume that this magical phone application and the way it works is just the way it works. Mm -hmm. Except they won't actually try to exploit it any further than they already have. And okay, we can throw that one up on bingo board anyway. Like if you've got some parents who are, you know, older than forty or fifty, ask them what they learn, you know, how they learn subtraction, if they know if they know what zero is. They probably won't. They'll be like, Oh, we just learned that uh you can't you can't take negative numbers. You can't. They don't exist. Yeah, they, they were barely, you know, lucky if they even know what negative numbers are. Imaginary <laughs> is what they called them back in the day. You don't have one? And, uh, yeah. Uh, don't have one. Yeah, well, guess what the plan is going to be for this dungeon? We're going to wander through it until we find Kaneshiro's treasure. Yeah, there you go. navigation when needed. What an incredibly important party member Makoto has been. We beat the shit out of him. She's definitely checking the fifth box. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain pretending like they're going to do something more, but then they don't. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. Well, what a presumptuous. You know, one of the great things is that in the English version, she has a very, very preppy voice. Oh. <laughs> So just imagine that right now. Or watch the regular episodes, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Or ask for the raw ones. I don't know. Whatever. Do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you need to do. Like Persona, do what Persona 5 would do, which is, I don't know, man, whatever. 